Liberty Learning Foundation has orchestrated hundreds of emotional live events in schools across the Southeast. Our team shows up and takes the stage to congratulate super citizens and thank community VIPs for joining us. But the story of what happened at a graduation celebration in the small town of Hoax Bluff, Alabama is nothing short of incredible. And it sets a new standard for community ownership in this crucial all-American movement. With our primary tour bus and crew busy performing across the state, a few of us were lucky enough to join our friends in Hoax Bluff. Cameras in hand, we watched in amazement as this town of 4,000 band together to elevate their youth, honor local heroes, and give thanks to a super corporate citizen. This town proved that together we are improving child, community, and country. On this Thursday night in Hope's Bluff, hundreds of people gather for the fourth grader super citizen graduation. Over the past 10 weeks, the five classes, made up of more than 125 students, worked through the lessons of the Liberty's Legacy Super Citizen Program. They mastered lessons in civics, character, finances, career choices, and our great American story. These young students absorbed what it means to be a super citizen, and tonight they are celebrating that amazing achievement with their loved ones. But fourth grade teacher Samantha Matthews tells us this graduation is extra special. And we thought, well, this would be a special way to let the kids plan it. And then they mapped it out, and they talked about the songs they wanted to use that were not part of the curriculum. And then the teacher sat down and kind of cut out what wouldn't work and what would work. And then the kids wrote their own speeches and decided what, how that they would uh, a gift with either flowers or with a little token or something. Organized by their own students, this graduation ceremony was unlike any other we'd seen. From the class unity, to the three student MCs who auditioned to lead the program, to the beautiful patriotic songs, the audience was speechless as they watched their children play such an important role. I think it made a positive impact upon them uh, about patriotism, about uh, you know what it means to be an American, uh, the, what it means to uh, support your country and support uh, those the heroes, our local community uh, members that uh, every day you heard uh, volunteer firemen or uh, police officer or mayor or, or whatever, the things that they do, um, you know, and, and the impact that they have upon the community, uh, you know, it, it eventually gets down to them as a, ch as a student in the school. But the most emotional part of the evening was during the torch team presentations. Each class raised money to purchase a Lady Liberty replica and nominated a hero in their community they wanted to honor. They talked about every single person we could come up with that they knew and that they didn't mention uh, that uh, keeps our community going from, you know, just the school people because it's such a small community. People that are volunteer firefighters are also our fathers and they're also the, the uncles and then they went to school here as well. So it's, it's just all kind of culminated together. Hoax Bluff had 17 nominations, but tonight five of those heroes would be honored on stage. My name is Emmy Brown. My hero is my poppy, Ronnie Elliott. He is my hero because he doesn't just protect his family. He risked his life to save and protect others. He is a volunteer firefighter for ball play number one volunteer fire department. He is my hero and I love him very much. Well, it made me feel good. I know a lot of times they're at home and our radio will go off. I'll have to go right in the middle of it. I might make it back to see them, I might not. But all I can do is tell them that I love them when I leave. And I do it for them, I do it for anybody in the community. I enjoy doing it. Miss Linda Norris is a true American hero. She always comes in and checks on the school over the weekends, holidays, and during the summer. During the summer months, she paints classrooms and deep painting and touches up the paint outside. Our class made Miss Norris an American hero because of all she does to make Hope's Bluff Elementary a great school. It means a lot to me. I'm old school and I appreciate Alabama Power Companies sponsoring this for these young boys and girls. This school has been a part of my whole family and, you know, from the time it was built on through, we all went to school here, our children went to school here, part of our grandkids, so we've all been a part of this school and community. When you honor someone in this limelight, it not only touches the kids, but it also touches the hero, their families, 
this whole community. You know, I, I can't say enough about the support that we have for our kids and our school. Uh, the school is the center of of just about anything that goes on in, in our in our community and uh, being a former high school principal and a former middle school principal uh, I can honestly say that when I came out here I was really amazed at how much people came out to support our kids when they do these types of things some some people don't don't even have children here and they they like to come to the programs that we have so Hoax Bluff wants to thank Alabama Power for teaching, inspiring, and empowering our next great Americans, and for elevating the tight-knit communities that are making this movement their own. I've had some people ask why we, Alabama Power, would want to, to do this program. And you know, when you come here tonight and you see the effort that's going into this program, you know these kids have really, really bought into it. You see the energy. You see that they're going to be the future leaders of our communities, of our businesses, of our, of our, uh, our governments, and they're, they're super citizens. We wanted to make sure we had an Alabama Power representative here, and we talked with the kids, and they, we made sure that kids know the Alabama Power even before they got their free t-shirts. And so they are very aware that the only reason they had the program tonight, the only reason they had the books, the curriculum, the songs, the videos, all of that was because of the money that was given by Alabama Power. Clearly here in hometown America, the super citizen impact and experience is creating gratitude that goes both ways. The heroes were honored, the students were honored, and we were again honored to be powering this historic movement alongside concerned corporate citizens, community leaders, parents, and educators. Hi.